on Jalen Mills. Good morning. Good morning, man. How are you guys? We're uh, Good. we're hanging in there. Uh, how are you? Of course, you got uh, yeah. you know uh, a week of preparation, getting reintroduced back into that NFL life after a uh, after a down weekend. Uh, just kind of walk us through what it's been like, kind of getting reacclimated and ready to see a team that you just saw a couple of weeks ago. Yeah, man. Um, it, I think it it all comes down to, and this is also a you know a division opponent. Like you said, we we just seen these guys. Um, regardless, though, um, we we know them. They know us. Um, there's going to be a few wrinkles in there, you know, offensive wise, defensive wise, and special teams as well. Um, and and just us overall as a team. When when those wrinkles come in, you know, we just have to adjust and and, and trust. You know, the, the the play calling and play fast. What have you seen out of the rookie Garrett Wilson, first-round pick? I know he had over 100 yards when you guys faced him a couple weeks ago. He followed that up with another really good game in their win over the Bills. But halfway through the season, yep. his first year, what, what have you seen out of him? Yeah, man, he's a, he's a, a talented young receiver, man. Um, you see a, a young guy like him, you know, uh, running routes, you know, on all three levels. And, and what I mean by that, you know, it's, he's running short routes, he's running, you know, intermediate routes, and he's also running long routes. And then when you get a guy like him, you know, and they're, you know, giving the ball to him, finding ways to, to get the ball to him because he is a playmaker once he gets the ball in his hands. Uh, you just always have to know where he is when he's, when he's lined up. Jalen, is there normally uh, a high level of change when you play an opponent within a couple of weeks, especially someone that you know? Like, do you go in thinking, well, here's what they did last time, here's what they could work off of it? Or as you kind of mentioned, you you know everybody personnel wise, but from a scheme standpoint, is there that much that can change within a three week span? Um, not too much. I think the biggest thing is is um, there is going to be little change. You know, like I, like I said earlier, but um, us us as a defense, you know, when when you're watching the film, you have to look. Of course, watch back in and watch our film when we played them. We have to look at the problem plays. The uh, of course, yeah, we won the game, but uh, out of the those sixty sixty five plays, how many snaps it was? There might have been ten, eleven, you know, problem plays where um, where they got us, um, and, and we have to know that um, they're going to try to attack us those ways. You know, it may be a totally different formation, totally different personnel, but you know, they they have to attack us that way. Just how good of a job is uh, Matt Judon doing this year? I mean, the stats are jumping off the page, but it seems like he's in the backfield all the time, and it's just going right. to make your job as a, as a corner that much easier. Yeah, I think Judon, man, he's uh, he's one of one. You know, he, he's a guy who you know also comes in here and and he puts his working hat on each and every day, and he practices hard. And on Sunday, he's able to let his hair down because you know he's executed. You know throughout the week to where on Sunday uh, the game is e easy for him. Uh, Jalen Mills with Gresham Keith. Jalen's with us on the Harbor One hotline. All right, you know we got to ask you, how's the offense look? You got any offensive intel? It's what everybody's been talking about this week. No intel, um, <laughs> but I know it's us, us as a team. Us as a team, man, we're, we're ready to go. It's a division opponent. Um, we're back at home. You know, we we, we got to protect the house and, and, and get a win this week. It'll be big for us. Uh, the Bills and Browns game has been moved out of Buffalo because they're going to get like six feet of snow. I'm curious, what what are Not your thoughts? Yeah, it's nuts. What are your thoughts on playing in the snow? Obviously, you've played your uh, NFL career in Philly and in New England. You've had some All really right. cold games in that. Do, do you enjoy right. playing in the snow, or is it? Uh, would would you be happy if you were on one of those teams to move it inside a dome? Um. I mean, I play defense, man. Uh, so I, I love it. I, I love I love those type of games. Um, and you just gotta know when when that snow is coming down, man. You gotta buckle that chin strap up a little more because uh, that running that running back's coming for sure, man. But uh, yeah, I, I don't have no complaints on that. How big of a of a culture shock was it for you when you first got in the league? You know, you were in lovely Baton Rouge, Louisiana, <laughs> yep. and then you're in Philadelphia, New England, two of the colder places right. in the NFL. Right. Um, it was it was, it was big, man. It, it, was, it was definitely big. Me being from Texas and being going to another warm state, you know, in, in Louisiana, man. It was it, it was different for me. I had to adjust, but uh, I had some I had some good good smart veterans who who been in the league a couple of years, you know, showed me how to get acclimated to it with you know putting the Vaseline on the arms, you know, maybe you know wearing wearing you know 
extra tights, you know, the, the, the cut is different from regular tights and the cold gear tights and, you know, uh, different type of gloves and the ski mask, different type of things to wear to cover your ears. So I got lucky, man. I had some guys show me the ropes. You're not full blown scuba suit, are you? <laughs> no, no, not full blown scuba suit, man. I, I got a, I got a, I got to run, man. I, I chase rabbits for a living, man. These guys, these receivers, man, they run all over the place. Well, mm-hmm. it's been a, a hell of a run for uh, for your LSU Tigers. Obviously, you had the win over Alabama. Yeah, you go you had the win over Ole Miss. You beat Arkansas. So you can tell Hunter Henry yep. about that one. Couple weeks away yep. for uh, <laughs> for Georgia too. So things are really yep. looking pretty good for uh, you. Got a lot to talk about in the locker room. Oh yeah, I, I got a. Uh... You know, the crazy thing about the locker room, I, I turn around and I got uh, Isaiah and, and, and David. They're right across from me, literally. So they're going to they're gonna hear Air Force come that week, just like the <laughs> Alabama guys heard that Air Force come that Alabama week. So uh, it's, it's going to be it's gonna be some trash talking for sure going on. Good stuff. Jalen Mills, have a, a great Sunday. I know we'll talk to you next week. Thanks for giving us some time. Yep. And uh, stay upright. Yep. We'll talk to you soon. All right, thank you. You guys too, man. There All right, go. Thanks, Jalen. There goes uh, Jalen Mills. He's with us on the Harbor One Hotline.